This is an example of intermediate value theorem which says use the intermediate value theorem to prove that the following equation that means this has three solutions and also find the roots of this equation. So I'll roughly write here the intermediate value theorem which says f must be continuous on the closed interval a to b and there must be a point l between f of a and f of b then if these condi two conditions are true then there must exist at least at least one c which belongs to the open interval a to b such that f of c equals to l the function at this point must be equal to l this is intermediate value theorem so let's use this theorem to prove that this equation has three roots or solutions. So as this is given in the form of an equation, so first I'll assume that f of x is equal to x cube minus 2x square minus x plus 2. Oh, okay. And the interval is given by minus 3 to 4. In this interval, we have to check. So this is the function, for that first we will check these two conditions then we will apply the intermediate value theorem. So the first condition is that the function should be continuous. Now as f of x is a polynomial then because all the polynomials are continuous on the whole real number line. So f is continuous on the closed interval minus 4, 2, 3 because we are given this interval. Now the second condition is that there should be a point between f of a and f of b. In our case f of a is f of minus 3 and f of b is 4. Now we have to find these two values so f of 3 will be 3, sorry, f of minus 3 will be minus 3 cube minus 2 minus 3 square minus minus 3 plus 2, which is equal to minus 27 minus 18 plus 3 plus 2, which is equal to minus 27 minus 13, which is equal to minus 40. And f of 4 is 4 cube minus 2 into 4 square minus 4 plus 2 which is equal to 64 minus 16 into 2 32 minus 4 plus 2. So 66 minus 36 which is equal to 30. Now if I find a value between these two points so as I can take a point 0 which is between minus 40 to 30 this is f of a and this is f of b so I can take any value between these two values so I just simply took 0 as this is negative and this is positive so there is 0 between these two values that means this is also true as I can find a value between these two points then by intermediate value theorem there must exist this is a sign of there exist you say then there exists a point C which belongs to the open interval minus 3 and 4 such that f of this c must be equal to l. In this case, l is 0. So this is true by intermediate value theorem. That means c cube 
minus 2 c square minus c plus 2 equals to 0. I use the value of f of x. I just put c at the place of x. I can make factors. I can take out c square from these two terms c minus 2 and if I take, I take out minus 1 this is c minus 2. So this is c square minus 1 into c minus 2 equals to 0 and I can again make factors of this term c minus 1 into c plus 1 into c minus 2 equals to 0. So that means c can be equal to positive 1, negative 1 and 2. 